Hello guys. Hey, welcome to my channel. I put videos on here of all kinds of things. Uh, traveling and building stuff. You name it, it'll be on here. Hey, so why don't you just grab yourself a cup of coffee here. And then just sit back for about 10 minutes. And uh, enjoy this next video. Thank you. Another good morning to y'all out there. Hey, I'm doing something today that uh, I've been looking forward to for a long time. <laughs> and some of you have probably been wondering, wondering when is he ever going to get that done? Yeah, we're pouring the last three pours of concrete, be 15 bags, uh, and then we're done. Then we're done. Uh, that'll be awesome. And the, there's the slab right there. You've been watching me since uh, early last year. Uh, work on this. Uh, this is late in uh, 23. And uh, we're going to get her done. It's supposed to rain the next couple days. So I'm going to get all this scraped out. Leveled out. And then let the rain pound on it, plus I'm watering it down and I'm tamping it. I made this tamper. Uh, it's heavy. Made out of solid, uh, that, up to that joint, a little above that joint, it's solid steel all the way down through there. Double plated, quarter inch, so that makes it a half inch. Uh, on the bottom, it's tamping her down good. You know, water it and tamp it down. So uh, that's what I'm doing. In this video, I'll show you what she looks like when she gets done. Is it perfect? No. Uh, is it more expensive this way? Kind of, but kind of not. The price of concrete has gone up a buck a bag since I got it. So that's three bucks higher than it was when I started for these, no more than that. Three dollars times fifteen, fifteen dollars more than it was when I started back there. Oh, I started right there. Uh, but here's the thing guys the thing is is if uh, I can buy it when I got the money Like you've seen I didn't do any work on it this summer because I was busy playing So when I got the money, I'll go buy some bags of concrete and pour it and uh, That's what I've been doing through the whole thing. I could have had concrete delivered But I live so far away from the concrete plant. They charge a pretty good size delivery fee so that's, uh, hey, hang on here. i got to shut that music off or you guys going to decide to better shut that music off. Okay, so delivery charges. Now they, they, they'll come bring me concrete, but I think it's $150 or $200 to, who knows what it is now, to uh, deliver it down here where I live because I'm, I'm uh, 40 miles from the nearest concrete plant. So you got to add that into it. Then... They're gonna, not going to bring a little bit. They're going to want to bring, well, they'll bring as little as you want, but you're going to pay for it. So if you want to get this all poured at once with one truck full of concrete, probably might take, I don't know how much it would take. Had to go in the house to figure out the cubic feet on this. I think it's probably about uh, 3.6 square feet or more. You guys tell me if I got that wrong, okay? You're going to have to have some help down here to do this. I can't do this by myself. I could probably form it up and it'd probably take me a couple days just to form it. Now to pour it, I can't do that no more. I don't know if I ever could by myself that much. That's a lot. Uh, so, that's why we're doing it bag by bag. Uh, it averages out about the same cost as if I hired somebody to come and do it, but you can't get workers nowadays. And uh, if I wanted to get some help to do this, you ever tried to get anybody to help you move? Well, it's way harder to get somebody to come and help you pour concrete. I don't blame them. <laughs> it ain't one of my favorite things. So anyway, I'm going to show you what this looks like when she's done. Well, a few days later, we got one done. Uh, that's going to dry out today. Yeah, it's been raining, but we're supposed to have uh, clear skies. So, uh, 
And the wind's supposed to blow breezy, so that'll help dry that piece out. Then we'll come over here and pour the very last piece. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that that's getting done. There's the date right there when we started on that one. When we did that one there, we did all the way up, uh, quite a ways up. You have to watch the videos. But we did this piece and this piece so we could set the RV on it. I did it down there somewhere, about where that, about where this mark is. That's where the rear tire goes when we're parked. So it, we poured it all the way down to probably there, I guess, in 2022. In 2023, uh, we've done the rest of it. I think we did a couple of those too. I don't know. Go look at the video. Huh, what am I telling you for? Check it out. All right. One more big pour. Doing that in uh, twice as much at one time because I want to get it done. Vicki says she's going to help. <laughs> we'll see. Well, no concrete today. <laughs> she is pouring down rain today. So, well, I don't know. One of my videos, you've probably seen that I was trying to get my computer to work. Well, it gave up. It, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, it won't. It won't turn on. So I'm something. It come. It, it won't load Windows. Is what it won't do. So if any of you guys got a computer you want to throw away, throw it my way, because I could sure use one. Uh, let's tear into this one and see what it is. Then we'll get back to the concrete uh, in the very next clip. Also broke my little thing today. I gotta glue him back together. Oh, I got so much to do. Let's get on it. Well, good morning, fellas. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. She's done. Did the last pour yesterday. I'm gonna let that harden up for a week before we put that back on up on it. We got these these were our three last pours. And Vicky even came out here and helped me with this one. She squirted water. And she did a little shoveling. Well naturally she's sick today because she said she inhaled the dust. <laughs> oh well she gave it a try. Now uh I'm gonna put a link on here for when we started this slab see it started out just to be a little walkway then i went well you know let's put a couple runways here so we can back that up on there and keep it out of the rocks and mud well then you know one thing leads to another and here you go now this is 24 by 12. i'm uh, estimating because the price of concrete kept going up i think about 1300 dollars for concrete now uh and, uh, you know, I could have done it myself. I mean, I did do it myself. Uh, I could have hired somebody to do it. Now, I think I'm going to go call the concrete place. I'll put it right here, how much they would have charged just for the concrete. And we'll see how we averaged out. But one thing about it is I did this. It's paid for. I didn't have to get a loan, you know. And uh, I don't have... 1300 just sitting in the bank to just buy concrete uh, all at once. I mean, I, you know. I didn't want to get a loan to buy concrete. So I just took a little bit out of each, each uh, check. Or any time I had a little money left over in the old Social Security. Thank you very much there, guys, uh, to buy this. And uh, this is what we ended up with. You can see right here, I didn't waste nothing. When I got had a little bit left over, I just took it, like those round ones, I put them in a bucket, you can see, let them dry, flipped them upside down, made little, little walking things. Them are about three inches deep, thick. They'll be great for walking pads. That's where they are right now, but one thing about them, I can lift them up and move them anywhere I wanted to. If I wanted to have a walking path from there, to here or wherever I could but right now that's where they're sitting and uh, if I pour any more concrete I'll continue to save and I also built a little square box if I had anything left over yesterday I had enough left over to make them all three of them because uh, I didn't, didn't want to leave it in a wheelbarrow and didn't want anyway we made them 
So uh, this is done. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, uh, we're getting ready to go camping. Uh, to, uh, in two days, we're going to go camping. Wait till you see where we're going to go. But I got the cord out. I'm going to stretch that over there make sure she's charged up. Because like I said, I'm not driving on this for a week or two. No, no reason to. It, it sits right there fine. But that's uh, that. And uh, I'm going to go make some phone calls so I can put these figures on here for you guys. But I appreciate you watching me. Yeah. This was... She's done. Uh, we're gonna, oh, we're going to have another project coming up over here. Uh, right over there, over my shoulder. Hang on, spin around. Right over there. Somewhere in there, we're going to build a little shed just for uh, my concrete stuff. Uh, keep it out of the weather. And uh, supposedly getting a free little roof give to me. Maybe today. So uh, we're going to build that. Probably build it out of pallets, I think. So stay tuned for that build. Stay tuned for the very next uh, film. We'll be, we'll be traveling uh, on the road again in the motorhome. Way do you see this spot. Thanks for viewing, guys. Subscribe. <laughs>